I think all positioning glitched very, very briefly, but it ended at like the best possible time. Or maybe it's a bug, I don't really know how it works. Yeah, sometimes uh, when you're in the phase where there's two edge columns, uh, there's a chance where like sometimes ice just doesn't appear in a certain column, uh, and, or sometimes it'll only appear in every other column. And then this will like randomly happen and stop happening, it's really weird. Yeah, normally the way that columns work, uh, when you clear out a column, whichever column has had um, no ice the longest will gain ice. And of course when there's a split, and also when there's a split, uh, two single columns will appear at the same time. Which can sometimes mean, which can mean they can very briefly have more than the intended max amount of columns. But yeah, sometimes it was like fuck out when you got, uh, two wide columns. Don't know why, it, don't, don't really understand why it does that. Something we may, it's something we may never know, at least not for a long time. Accidental uh, cunning on the star gem. I almost called it a lightning there. And I think it would have been triggered if I said lightning gem instead of star gem. I better not die in times nine. I really better not die in times nine. Okay. Times ten. I really want to, I really want to do that. No, I can't. Really want to just clear the board. This is like one of the most satisfying modes to do it in if you've got a lot of, if you've got a lot of ice on the board, doing a DHR is just so satisfying. Of course I missed that. What am I even doing at this point?
Uh, Oof, that was actually close. Alright. This is true late game now, and I wasted here and I just used both my cubes there. Okay, thank god for hypermixers though. Twenty, nice. Forty-five, six. Let's just skip one twenty-eight. What if I broke? What if I actually broke two thirty-four here? It would still only count. It, it still it would. It wouldn't really count uh, for being a better. Even though we're not. Even though we don't actually track the highest uh, column combo. Uh, even if we did, it, it would just count. It wouldn't really count uh, as an actual. It would. It would be a separate record, basically. It wouldn't actually obsolete my 234. One seventy. This is going really well. <laughs> like I also like the ice is fast enough to where I do have to worry about survival, and I'm also getting these and I'm also getting this insane combo. Wow. We're going further. We're going further. Oh, never mind. One eighty four though. That's an amazing combo. I should really try and spawn in a cube now. Oh, stars, that'll help. There we go. Can't believe I caught that, though. Wow. Like, even without sudden death, it's still hard to get 184. Alright. Okay. I have to be very conservative with my star gems and hyper cubes. Uh, as survival plays a big role in this mode. Like, you do genuinely have to be like, smart about your cubes and your star- like, you have to genuinely have to be smart about, uh, your special gems in order to survive long-term at this speed. In regular Ice Storm, uh, it's so short and you're capped on time. Well, basically. So like you just want to go, you just want to like go do as much as possible. Uh, but in this mode, you you have to you have to be conservative. Whew. that was a close one. All right, we'll just yeah. Of course, when you hit the multiplier transition, you uh, you do still want to go as fast. You still do want to. You still want to do as much as possible. Ah, no! Of course the cube just, get blow just gets blown up immediately. There we go. Okay. 
right. Yeah, this mode is so intense, though. Oh, thank God for that multiplier. Two cubes, nice. Oh! I can do a DHR now. I'm gonna save it. Never mind. I'm not even sure if doing that was actually the best decision, but it was definitely the coolest. I mean, as long as I don't die because of it, it's a good decision. Well, it doesn't mean it's a good decision, but it means it ended up work. But it means it works out. Yeah, nice star gems. Oh. Ah, edge columns are being painted right now. I need that star gem. Okay, I can get twenty-five from here. I think. Please just give me a hyper mixer. God, I haven't gotten the hyper mixer in a while. There we go, finally. Now, of course, I end up using it. Of course, I have to use it immediately, but whatever. All right. Star gem in a good spot. Perfect time, Star Gem! Let's go! Perfect times. Nice grammar. Whatever, this isn't a game about grammar. This is a game about matching, uh... Giant gems. Yes, these gems are canonically giant. You don't have about stars, though. I, I, I consider, I feel like stars is just a different, cheaper, I don't know. The gems and stars just feel like a cheaper version of, of the actual gems. Which I guess some kind of sums up stars as a whole, but whatever. Okay, I need that cube. Nice, I got the edge columns. Horizontal matches are like mostly useful, uh, like for last minute survival. Uh, if you want to, if you want to have a better chance at surviving, because of the respawn time, it it is still more efficient to go for verticals. Okay, I've got the supernova. I really like to get to it. I really like to be able to use this. Okay, there we go. Thirty-two million. I got a shot at a PB here.
That's totally something that you would do on the uh, fix list. I guess they're on the worst color, I was trying to save the star gems. Better not just die to a move board here. Oh my god, that was that was that was amazing. Yeah, I literally just had to pray there. That is one thing I like about. Okay. What well, if I keep using hues on like terrible colors? It's always white. I should just stop using cubes on white. Bad luck. Um. I'm actually gonna do that so I can move the cube uh, a bit closer to the edge. Just so that it's less in the way. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah, advantage of having cube on the edge. As opposed to in the middle. Um A, edge col edge columns are harder to hit. And B I better not die here. And B, it's easier to preserve. I I might I remember my personal best was super close to forty two million, so if you got hit forty two million, we're good. There have already been a few close calls on this game. As I said before, this is not this is actually not that easy. Okay. I'm tempted to just like try and run on a, a combo here. So I I'm earning so many I'm like earning so much now. This is something you'd. This is like a lot more than what you can see in uh, in uh, Pixelus. Okay. I think I can just run out of combo now. You know, somebody can actually make vertical matches. Alright, can I get. Alright, time to go for 50 mil now. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get this. Even though I really wish I could. Wow. Where's that where's that kind of efficiency in uh fixless? Why not <laughs> take a shot or just take a shot every time I say fixless. You know, it'd be cool if I could play far enough for, uh... I wonder how far I need- yeah, well, I wanna, like, play far enough to the point where, uh... <laughs> the scat- the, or the, uh, stat screen can't show the multiple the, uh, multipliers. I don't exactly know when you have to get that. Maybe- probably around 40 or so. Uh, when the- Yeah, when the bars- when you got some multipliers with the bars on the- stat screen or less than a pixel in width. Uh, you'll either have it show nothing uh, or you have like really weird effects. It'll like show parts of the bars. I think I need around 50 for that though. Which I mean could happen if I got this gameplay. That was a that was a pretty cool hype mixer. Very briefly five colors. Oh at 50 mil, let's go. Uh, 
Uh, thank God for that multiplier. I've had, like, I've had a lot of close calls in this game. Can I get a hypermixer now? I might, I might actually start running long moves. Oh my god, this game does not display times 40 very well. But X is like overlapping with the 40 a bit. It might fix itself on 41. Let me screen let me screen, let me screenshot that. No, even on 41 it still looks Uh actually maybe this isn't as bad. Okay, can I just like pull it a hundred? <laughs> this late into the game. Well, I mean, technically, once he hits, uh, late game, it doesn't actually speed up in this version. The thing is, on plus it does, but on standard it doesn't. That being said, if I can play far enough, Baki will probably yeah, end up, uh, changing it at 1.17. I should hit 100 mils so that Baki has to change this version as well. Ah, uh, almost got 120. I still can't believe that I got 180 or something. I think it's 184. I'm already almost at 60 mil because of that combo. And also the fact that I'm just generally scoring a whole lot more now. 75k? <laughs> for these columns? What? Almost 80k. Next multiplier is going to be like 81k per whenever I get a max. That's ridiculous. I bet yeah, I better not miss on both. That would be like the that would be like the stupidest way to die, using two cubes and still not hitting the column. I still I was originally planning on using a better color on the first cube, I don't know why I changed it. Oh. After that 118, I've like suddenly started caring about combos again. Maybe I should have used that on... Oh no, I guess green doesn't do the job. I don't have that many moves though. This could be a problem. Cube, thank you. Actually, I might not have needed that. It's still good to have. Although now I kind of wish I didn't use it right away. Okay, please clear this. Please clear these star gems. Maybe I should have saved that. Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm saving this cube for sure. Past 66.6 .6 now. Well, look at the speed though, already 67. Like, combos, like, the amount of extra points added from combos is like super insignificant at this point. Can we get 69? Nice. Yes! 69! It's not gonna last very long, though. That was like 800,000 with that! Maybe even 900,000. Oh my god. That's amazing. Best move of the game. I can I'll probably be able to see it on my stats screen.
Nice. Ah, uh, lucky, 77. Maybe I'm actually gonna reach times 50. I was joking about it earlier. I'm definitely far enough for the for the uh, stat screen to do some pretty silly stuff. Could die here. Ah, uh, if I if I'd seen that move faster, I could have saved myself. I can't believe we got far enough for the stat screen to uh, <laughs> do this though. Like the stat screen is basically unreadable. I just- oh my god, that column counter, no. I hate that- I hate- one, two, three, three. I hate every part of that. Uh, that- okay. I'm done.